Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It of course is another Sunday. Happens to be Mother's Day Sunday for those celebrating here. Uh, for today, of course, we will be looking at another fun vacuum cleaner that I've been holding on to for a while. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about this genre of vacuum cleaners, so figured I uh, would take the opportunity and pull it out. Uh, you will have to forgive me, I have to keep the window open today because Washington is getting some record heats. So um, it is about 90 degrees outside and we are not used to it here that time of the year. Uh, June, July, that's fine. May, eh, eh, maybe not. Um, anyways, I digress. So, see here um as far as the channel goes um like i said we are still in our uh, month of hoover for my birthday month of may so like i said that will be the common theme for this month um of course if there's any other requests feel free to drop a comment send me a message smoke signal whatever i'll get it somehow but uh, without further ado let's get on to the video for today Okay, so we have here a genuine Hoover commercial vacuum cleaner. Um, I know there's a lot of big fans of the commercial machines here uh, on the channel, so this one's for you guys. I know I uh, have hinted at a lot more of them. There are more to come, so stay tuned. But what we are looking at today is a 1972 Hoover Model 918. The Hoover Model 918 was introduced as a replacement uh, to what uh, is known as the Model 913, which is very similar to this. Um, it just had a little bit different bag, different cord, a few other things. Uh, in my history of these machines, I've had a couple of them in the past. Um, I've had a 913, I have this 918 now. Um, my 913 I ended up getting rid of a while back just because, well, it was in pretty sad shape at the time. And when this one came available from my good friend Mitchell Armstrong, uh, I had to jump at it. Uh, you know, these were used in in well commercial settings so hotels lobbies businesses um apartment building hallways what have you uh, this is what you would have been seeing you know being used in those types of settings um so this thing saw a lot of on off on off all over the place and for that matter, it always needed a three-prong cord, as we see right here. So it's going to have a grounded cord. Uh, most commercial machines would have that, just because you did need a little bit more uh, protection uh, in, for doing, you know, bigger jobs. Um, so that's why you don't see them very much on uh, common household machines. Uh, now in the 70s, when this came out, this was the most indestructible vacuum you could probably buy at the time. Um, the motor housing as well as the uh, headlight housing are absolutely, they're about an eighth inch thick of uh, their cast metal. Um, and man, they can ta take a punch. Now this machine was used, of course, primarily as a commercial machine. So there's no chips, there's no breaks or cracks in the metal, which is why I ultimately decided to keep this one uh, over the 913. Now this one, I am fortunate uh, that it does have all of its original trim. Uh, usually this headlight surround did get pretty banged up. Uh, I haven't seen many of them missing, but I do know that because, you know, that's where you're going to see things like uh, couches and stuff, that's going to hit right there. Uh, and there was also not a whole lot of nicks up on the front. Of course, you're going to still see, you know, things rub up against that. Um, so this one actually, like, looked very, very nice, uh, in addition to the original bag. So uh, with commercial machines, they would go through bags pretty consistently, especially if they were something like this with a uh, shakeout bag. Uh, and by shakeout bag, I mean, basically, this was just 
a sack that it would fill up with dirt and whatnot. And uh, once it was full or full-ish, so basically this whole kind of third down would just be packed with stuff, uh, you'd take it out and you'd dump it out. So, ergo, dump bag. So this top would slide off and you just check it out. But anyway, very fortunate to find it with its original bag. So yes, this was a very nice machine when it came out. I know that uh, hotels usually paid a good amount of money for them. Um, we did see them in several different um, commercial uh, Hoover brochures and whatnot. Uh, also very popular in the UK, so they did see their versions of it. But uh, this machine is a very nice machine. I, uh, when I first moved into my first apartment with my wife, then girlfriend, uh, this is what I used to clean up the place and boy did it put in work. And this thing operates so well, so smoothly. Uh, there's no reason why Hoover, you know, didn't sell a ton of these machines. Um, which is why they are quite common, um, but they did get thrown away a lot. Um, just because, you know, if your company or business gets a new commercial machine, like a Sanitaire or, um, I don't know, Prolux or something along those lines, uh, basically it was either trade in the old one for the new one, uh, in which case it would get thrown into a, a vacuum, you know, basement, like I described earlier, uh, or it would just go to the dumpster uh, or scrapyard or what have you. Um, so, we don't see a whole lot of them now. I mean, you may be able to find them online here and there, um, but you're not going to see them in a thrift store or a vacuum shop um, just because they just aren't consistent. Um, as well as dump bags generally aren't uh, wanted anymore, uh, being as that they do expel a lot more dust um, when you fire them up. So, because while air passes through the bag, you're still gonna have some dust that kind of, like when you fire it up, which is why ultimately more hotels and, you know, large buildings and whatnot went to something with a bag so that it could trap more uh, the debris and whatnot in there. But with that in mind, we are going to get on to our run demo um, and see just how well the indestructible Hoover 918 really is. All right, so let's get this thing going. First, of course, we'll take our handle release, which is this big black button on the side, and then... is a great run demo on this machine of course as you saw the headlight uh, turned on and it puts out quite a beam on there uh, especially if you're going down a dark hallway it definitely can be a menacing machine coming at you so this machine really was a, a master key into the commercial and janitorial uh, division of Hoover uh, of course they had many many more machines and this was ultimately replaced by the guardsman series as I've been told but uh, that concludes everything on the 1972 uh, Hoover Model 918. Um, in further news for the channel, like I said, we're going to continue with Hoover. So expect another Hoover next week and the following week. Um, maybe not a commercial machine, albeit, but we're going to look at a couple more, more really rare ones in the next couple weeks. A couple of you may know what they are, so stay tuned on them. Um, but otherwise, for those that are celebrating, happy Mother's Day. And to the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day to you as well. Uh, and for everybody else, have a fantastic week. Uh, and enjoy the nice weather that we have. Uh, if you do have nice weather, if it's raining, I, I, I 
enjoy it the best you can, I suppose, but uh, uh, run a vacuum if that's the case. Um, but uh, either way, everybody have a great week, great evening, great Sunday, great Mother's Day, and we will catch you again, same time, same place, on the channel.